This video is brought to you by the wonderful Squarespace. Good morning, and as you can see, it is 4.52 a.m., and I am already at the swamp meet with like one other car. What is my life? So we get to a booth and it's one of our favorite booths and right away there is tons of stuff everywhere. And the stuff I'm really liking is that at this booth, it's not a lot of like stereotypical video games, which we see all the time. It's the weird stuff. It's the weird like odd PC Sierra stuff. I start digging, I find a Commodore printer, I find different VHS tapes. Ladies and gents, the sun finally has started to poke through. I'm gonna show you guys, but I already kind of grabbed while I was at that booth, a Pac-Man invitation right here, super cool super vintage and still in the little piece of paper. One of my favorite things I found, look at this. Sealed, the offerings, sealed, great VHS. Oh, this is the trailer tape? What? Oh boy, I'm feeling good now. Oh, and for Violent Zone? Okay, I didn't even realize what I got. One of the coolest things I find is this sealed offerings VHS tape. It's super weird because after looking at it a little bit longer, I realized it's like a multi teaser trailer tape so it was super cool and then i got this awesome amiga and commodore uh, little magazine right here i really love this sierra one sierra dynamics and you can see they got like leisure suit larry some other characters just a really cool magazine you don't really see the, oh look at this look, this whole cool artwork is just so cool that's so beautiful the dorks i love that and then one of the most random things a printer but check it out. This is the Commodore MPS 802. It doesn't have any of the cables or anything like that, but these are awesome, super cool piece. I like to buy this kind of stuff and just kind of like poke at it at home, look it up and like find out more details about it. One of the other coolest things I got is these Turbo Graphics books. I got it right when Chris walked up. Chris from the podcast, he walks up, he's like going to give me knuckles and I just see him pull it out and I'm like, I want this one, I want this one. I gotta see it, I gotta see it. Check this out, yeah. TurboGrafx Secrets. Both of them right there. Oh my, Nemo, Nemo. All right, here we go, TurboGrafx 16 books right here, super cool. Also brutal, sports football for the Jaguar manual. Uh, these got pulled out of there. What a cool, like, endless little pile that's coming out. There's just a lot of cool, like, paperwork and magazine type stuff in here. So, been really excited about it. I mean, even if you look behind you, it's just kind of all over at this place, like, all different 90s style. But look at that PC video game stuff, just super rad. Oh, look at this. The last Starfighter activity book. Oh boy, oh baby, oh baby. So I was telling Chris, Chris said he has a VIC-20 and I was like, hey dude, uh, just so you know, the printer's over here. I need the power supply. So check it out. There's a VIC-1525 graphic printer. Whoa. Super weird, huh? Yeah, I, know, I didn't even know that they had printers for that. Stick around me, bro, I'll teach you things. I don't know if this goes to the VIC-20. I don't know either. I, I don't. It, I don't think it. The, well, I don't they know. also had a Commodore printer that I picked up, so I feel like they were, they kind of collected like. Then they had other printers here too, long ago. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, dude? <laughs> Dang! How are you just wearing it? Like this. That's how you do. Oh, whoa! <laughs> whoa, hey! Save that for the Wii Man over here. <laughs> I'm very interested <laughs> in that. <laughs> so. Here we go. Let's see. These all just got popped out. But the question is, will they be in here? That's the nope. Yes, it is the right one. Hot Rodding Teenagers, Heroes in a Half Shell, check them out here, Land Before Time. Ooh, this one's one of my favorite ones. And I already have like 10 of these, so these three will be coming with me. As I said that to Chris, Curtis pulled this out and it's a basically a Vic 20 little, it looks like, it looks like more like a, maybe like a store display. Oh no, because it also has Commodore stuff. I think just this person might have put all their stuff together. I wish, actually Ricky has this sealed still, unopened, the TV. Oh, this is cool, all Vic 20 stuff. It's a video game type console. Curtis was very confused as to what it was. And then just now after digging and digging, I mean we've been digging like crazy here, but there's so many people here, you kind of have to just do your own thing and, and dig off camera. But the Nintendo Game Player Strategy Guide, so the VHS tapes are what I collect on these. I have a bunch of the VHS tapes, but I do not have any of these, of the magazines. And I will say, wow, after looking at this, look how bad, look how bad the art is, like as far as quality. It's very blurry and very fuzzy. And that's not just this book because the front cover looks amazing. Which by the way, good gracious, look at that cover. 
I gotta check these out. He got some really cool Nintendo powers. I got these. It's just such a fun morning already and it just started. I'm so freaking happy. Curtis, we're, we're a little throwback to back in the day. This was a little, this was pretty popular, I'd say in the 90s, when you eat food, TV, like, little placemats. This was kind of the jazz and the rave for a Dude, while. I mean, I was alive during this period. You were alive, but you were like, <laughs> one. <laughs> you, don't, you, you weren't eating off this stuff like I was, bro. My bowl of cereal. Look at this sick Hawaii shirt right here. Oh, 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 it's Gecko Hawaii, right? Oh no, Aloha. But wow, they're playing off Gecko Hawaii because they got the geckos and the word Hawaii right there. Yo, look at the Power Rangers white gloves. Ooh, I like this. The Warner Bros. Studios hat. This is a cool hat right here, Curtis. Oh yeah. That's a great hat. Oh I'm yeah. Pick that up. Uh, there's that. And, oh, look, I would hate this. Map and guide to the fabulous homes of the stars. What a horrible, like, that, that is. What a bummer for your privacy. You I mean, I know if you're a star, you know. The only place you actually like. I love Knox. You know what's <laughs> know. devastating? My daughter went to Disneyland for the first time, uh -huh. and she came home, she's like, I think I like it better than Knox. And I was like, you're different. Hey, man, have you ever tried doing that? Okay. Playing the piano overnight? Uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, devastated. This Nelsonic watch is gone. A Simpsons Nelsonic watch. I got all excited. It was like this, and I was like, <gasps> It's in there. And I pulled it out. Nope, I was wrong. Yo, look at that coloring book. Watch. Oh my, that's an actual There's, coloring book. Yeah, it's a swap meet fresh on watch. That, it, <laughs> okay, yeah, I've seen better days, but that's still sick. I know, imagine just picking this up at a store and just like, Mom, I want this one! I want this one! Bring the truck! Yeah. <laughs> All right, so just found some really cool stuff. So there's the Super Mario Bros. 2, which is nothing too crazy, but this does have some uh, value and nostalgia for it. But then Sega Visions, really hard to come across Sega Visions. It's not something you really see lying around the swap meet ever. There's also a bunch of these, um, which I don't necessarily need. We just bought a bunch of Nintendo Powers recently, so we don't need any more of these. Funny enough, normally you jump on these immediately at the swap meet. But I love this. This is the coolest part of it. Check this out. It's an old, like, receipt notice uh, in California, in Cyprus, actually thanking the customer for purchasing the next soft games, but look what it is. Castle Quest, Wizardry, Feria, Penguin Wars, Ishido, that's Game Boy, you can see GB or NES next to it. Master Control and Carry All Case. So, oh, those are the accessories right there. I was gonna say, I don't know Master Control, Pro Beam. Look for these best sellers at your favorite game outlet. Sincerely, Nexoft. And I picked up another Nintendo Power, I lied. And then I picked up this TMNT, because it has the tag on there. But the reason I picked up this Nintendo Power is it does have I was telling Chris earlier, one of the worst covers ever, but that don't matter because you have one of the best posters ever. So that's why it's such a good poster. So walking over to the beautiful, wonderful Dusty. By the way, if you don't know, Dusty's on Storage Wars. He's a great friend of ours. Not a lot of people know. Some people, even Jared recently found out, the editor of this channel. I walk over, he pulls out a bag, a duffel bag full of NES games. I'm stoked. Anytime I can see like anything, NES is where my heart is. NES and Super Nintendo. Look at the case on that, Curtis. What in the world? Is that like a weight machine or something? <laughs> I've never seen it look like this that. This is what I need on my Oh, dude, that's a travel size. <laughs> what in the world is that? The heck if he knows, huh? I don't know. It's yeah. fancy, bro. And a lot of times when you get these like NES bundles, it's a lot of jank and stank, but the titles we're pulling out is like Mega Man 3, we're pulling out Russian Attack, we're pulling out Ninja Turtles, we're pulling out Adventure Island. One of my favorite games is Adventure Island. It's one of the games that I play all the time that I feel like I never really give much love. I don't talk about it as much as maybe I should. Wonderful art style, wonderful music. I will say the art style on it is one of the most happy feeling video games on the NES. So I freaking love it. We start re willing and dealing. Let's see. It's a small selection. Oh yeah. Okay, we saw, what, are you, what are you thinking on it already? Off, all right, we got, ooh, good one, Mega Man 3. Good there needs to be wiped for sure, but great games. Robocop, Mega Man 3, Turtles. Beggars can't be choosers. Game. Such a good game right here. Oh, dude, such a good game. One of my favorite games, Gunsmoke. Uh, yeah, no, it's good. Rolling, uh, what do you want? I've seen worse, I can tell you that much. What do you want? Yeah. Gotta tell me. Oh my God. Russian Attack, Mario Bros, Top Gun, 1942. I love this game, by the way. 
And, uh, yeah, and it's got some of the zingers and. Uh, get my coins out of here. Oh, it's got some coins in there? Dang, my look. dog. Got the Dunhill. The Dunhill. Look at this. The Dunhill. This guy's got like the perfect wrap. Look at that. That's called the ultimate wrap right there. <laughs> Dusty's just like, give me 200 bucks. And I've told you these guys before. When I work with Dusty, I normally pay him pretty close to what he wants, even if it's like barely scratching the surface of being worth the value, because he always brings me good stuff. He literally will hold it for me. I don't ask him to, by the way. He will hold it for me because he knows I'll pay him decent. Ended up paying him 170. Got some great stuff in there. I'm happy. Only bad part about my day, two things. Ricky's not here. Other thing, Curtis is here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40. 60 and I'll, oh we'll make it 70. What'd you get? What'd you, get? Uh, you got a 10? No. Lies, liar. <laughs> this guy. I, actually, you normally have the fattest wads. Wow, that sounded weird. <laughs> All right, let me, let me get you. Well, there it is. Thank you, Dusty. The ultimate burner. The, I don't even, I don't know how to take that. But yeah, so Gunsmoke, Rolling Thunder, Mario Bros, Top Gun, Ben Knows, 1943, Russian Attack, Really cool soundtrack. It's uh, it's basic, but it's fun. Robocop, Jenkins Stank. I would say out of these, my favorite games are gonna be these three. For playability, will be Mega Man 3, Turtles, and Adventure Island. This is probably one of my most pick up, pick up and play games that I don't really talk about as much that I pick up and play. So these people have had Garfield stuff throughout the past couple weeks, and this is all that's there left. They used to have a ton. I do like these, I always like these sunshades over there. Those are cool. I know. I can't believe the scooper. Old little, old little uh, phone topper for the receiver. What, are you, what is that, Curtis? Oh, it's my new watch. That's the new Garfield. That thing sucks. <laughs> <laughs> a little, little shampoo-y. What you just show me? <laughs> yeah, this is... A little hula girl. I love those. I used to have them all my windows for my cars. It was weird. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yo, 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 she my fun now, she mo yo. Let's see it, Curtis. Dude, your favorite? You, you, you joke, but I you used to watch Bill Cosby stuff all the time. His older stuff? It's oh, yeah. good. His old comedy records were hilarious. Ah, oh, see, but it's missing the logo. Oh, but this one might not. Yep. Do that. That's, okay, that one's good. And that, What's going on? What's up, brother? What's Wait, up? We're not at the at home. We no, are. you're not. You will be soon, though. <laughs> we will be. I have another thing about to sell, so. Okay. Look at that, just free money for nothing. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's raining or something like this. <laughs> JD gave us these Dude, for free. But if you haven't seen our podcast, we recently ranked 90s cartoons. We ranked DuckTales. Where do you think we ranked the DuckTales? Hey, what did DuckTales end up at? What did DuckTales end up at on the podcast? B plus. A B plus, I think? Which yeah. I think I think it should have been better that. Who ranked it lower? Me? One of you. You. I would have ranked you it child. F plus. That was my jam. So the guy with the, 80s, with, the, with the Pixel Podcast hat and would rate it higher. Curtis has been replaced. I think I was a B. <laughs> <laughs> now we just came to the parking lot go. to look at shoes. Got the blooper garden. So I'm a basic guy yeah. when it comes to shoe colors, yeah. just so yeah. you know. Okay, yeah. I'm not like crazy colors. I'm a pretty like basic. Yeah, yeah. I like shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like your pick. Like I said, these yeah. are uh, some of them are new in box, and then some are worn. I mean, obviously, I'll give you guys a pretty decent discount okay. if it's used. And like, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar. Like, StockX is kind of like the eBay. Yeah. Of yeah. So, if, uh, if you want to look up prices, and then I'll just basically give you forty or fifty on uh, off of retail or resale oh, no, on the new ones. Yeah, yeah. and okay, then cool. like uh, on use, I'll do that. So yeah, I mean. I'll probably be I'll probably be a used guy. So all right, so I'm just picking up these Air Max guy. I, I love Air Maxes. I love this colorway. It's 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 soft. It's wonderful. What what is this? What are these ones called? Uh, Air Max that? ones. Air Max ones. So I guess ones. like the, the online name is Tree Line. I guess because of the colorway. Oh, oh god, I could yeah. see that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. Chris liked them. I do. And I'm I got, an Air Max. I got guy. no better joy Always Air than Max. Want, seeing him want them and me being like, and, hmm. He told me to kick. I'll rocks, buy him. Too. I did tell him to kick rocks. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Curtis is right, this is Nicole's face every time he brings something new home from the swap meet. Dude, nice push. <laughs> Let's go. Look at look at what he says. I'm president of the United States, States and I'm not gonna eat any more broccoli. Is that an actual thing he said? I have no idea. I really hope so. But he like starts to say it and then he stops. Oh. Uh, now I can't get him oh, to do it. We're not gonna be able to hear it. Nope. No, now he won't work. Look at Chris. Uh, Curtis, you were just talking about this on the podcast. Goliath. Oh yeah, gargoyles, baby. Or at least trying to talk about it. 
He's missing his tail? Did he have a tail? <laughs> uh, yeah, and he's missing his wings too. Oh. Yep. Dang, bro. What? Spyro's seen better days. All right, me and Chris both spotted and started going fast. Ooh, runaway with Tom Selleck. Always uh, be on the lookout for the red outlines. I've said it before, but that usually helps, actually. Listen, this one's busted, but it usually helps increase uh, value, even though it's simple. Ooh, what is this? I'm picking up this for sure. I've never seen this before. The challenging? Chris just corrected me on what this is called. What'd you say this is called? Oh. The changeling. Okay, I sounded dumb. Yeah. Ben found the uh, Nintendo Boxer shorts, baby. Well, are those are those pants that were cut? No, I. No, they were. Oh, were they really? Those were cut pants. This is so interesting. Damn. It's like bro. official and everything. Hey, that's so good. I'm gonna give you a hand. Ah. <laughs> Look at Chris looking at this. Oh, what we've been talking about. Like is I always wear like bright, crazy colors in the podcast, and I'm always Pretty trying good. to get these guys to brighten up their color schemes. It's They're always wearing like black tees. It's about as good as it gets right now. That's a great shirt, dude. I feel like I might. Just have to buy it just because. Please wear it on the next podcast for all of the love. <laughs> I might tuck it away and maybe it'll come out in the future. Oh, come on. <laughs> I would golf in this too. So Chris did end up getting the, uh, the I shirt. Did. Got I got it. it. It looks good. It might, co might come out at some point. It will come out. It so will. It will come out. Oh, look at this. We got the Avengers. I see that the Stay Puft one is probably. Is that Stay Puft? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the homie right there. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. The Stay Puft. They're so big, though. There's just so. There's such a big space taker. These mega pops. Like, for this, which is the coolest character on this? Flash, Dick Tracy, or Batman? Flash. What? I think the least cool one. <laughs> <laughs> After roaming around for a while, we go back to one of our original booths, one of the best booths of the day. This booth has just had a ton of stuff. And I go over there and I start thinking, I see one first thing I see, I see this 1992 Justin McFarlane San Diego Comic Con badge. This is super cool, super unique. Stuff like this is a huge collector market for it as well. Chris said after too, he's like, what if this is like a brother of Todd McFarlane? And I found it. That thing is awesome, Curtis. Look at it. The K I've never seen Casey before. I do like a lot of like the weird like uh, cassette players, but I've never seen the Casey one. Very interesting. Check this out. 1992 Comic Con badge. Also a cool Return of the Jedi 1983 little pencil holder. And then my little brain starts turning and I'm like, oh my gosh, wait a second. At this booth, she had Nintendo Powers with ripped covers. What I'm gonna do, ask her what the price is for the ones with ripped covers and because maybe there might be posters or cards in them. So one of the first ones I pick up right then and there, no cover on it, don't even know what issue it is, pull it open and I see a Mega Man 3 poster in all of its glory, looking beautiful, got it for five bucks, that's a great deal. That's an amazing poster for your art set, for your room, to decorate, all of the above. It's super fantastic. Hello. She waved to me. Some would say I'm pretty popular around these parts. Look, so what was smart about this is they had a bunch of Nintendo Powers that were like ripped off and stuff. And she was like, I'll give you this one for five bucks. And the reason I bought it is I went searching and look, this is why I paid five bucks for it. Because if I could get to the right paper, ta-da, ta-da-da-da. Hey, puppy. Mega Man 2, that thing's That's why I bought the ripped one for five bucks. She said she would do it for that. And then this I thought was really cool. Check this out, 92 Comic-Con badge. I know, I'm not a, a badge collector, but I know a lot of people are badge collectors. So, Justin McFarlane, 92, San Diego Comic Con. Look at this idiot right there. Look at that idiot. Look at this Xbox bondage version. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> X bond? X bondage version. Yeah. So what's it like to have a friend like that? <laughs> uh, there's, there's benefits. Oh, Dusty just literally threw games at me. And they bounced. They fell. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, also Tekken. Okay. You have? Yeah, oh, dude. thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that so much. I, uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, literally. <laughs> stuff. You're the game shark. He said that he's going to sweeten the pot. I asked him how much for these. He's, it looks like he's bringing over PS2 games. Let's see. What is it going to be? Oh, dude. Look at these rare games. Oh, wow. Family perfume. 20 bucks. Thanks, man. Nailed I appreciate them. it. Dick Gabo needs this <laughs> to learn his uh, how to speak the language. Say the line, Bart. Say yeah. the line. For my son. <laughs> Yo, she mama mofi no mo no she mo. So Let me I'm get that, moving. bro. This is the 
Taking a pause once again to say thank you to one of our longest running sponsors, Squarespace, a beautiful platform on which to create your websites. One of the best features about Squarespace is the custom merch. Easily sell custom merch and create a passive income stream that engages your audience and scales your brand. Design your products and production and inventory. And get this, shipping is handled for you, saving you time, money, and effort. Oh, and you know time is valuable. Also, Squarespace extensions. With Squarespace extensions, you can connect your store to vetted third-party tools to extend the functionality of your website. Ooh, and member areas. Monetize your content by selling membership access to exclusive sections of your website. Okay, I, I like that a lot. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash pixel game squad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Uh, yeah, last booth got some N64 stuff from Dusty. Uh, nothing crazy, but super worth it in the end. And man, I gotta say, everything today was just, there's so much cool stuff in here with like all the Turbo Graphics stuff and Nintendo Powers. There's just like beautiful paperwork in there this time. Another fantastic, amazing find. And one last time, I'm so sorry Curtis is here. For my son.